What's up, what's up, Game Wars? Welcome back to another Infinite Lagrange video. And in today's video, I want to cover something I think is very important. And I see a lot of people making this mistake. Okay, Infinite Lagrange is a grand strategy space PvP oriented game. There is PvE in there, but it runs out kind of quickly. And in addition to that, right, if we go to our blueprints here, for example, let's go to my winged hussar, right? It's at level 38. That That's this number right here. It indicates what level it is. After level 30, the only way I can level this up is through PvP. I can grind it against every single pirate I want. This number here will not go up unless I have microchips here to boost it. That is past level 30. Because of that, you're going to get a lot of people attacking you or your union. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay. Now this person <clears throat> moved. It looks like he has an outpost, but you can see here. That's, that's his. That's somebody different. All right. That's the same person. That's the same person. And I believe this is his outpost. Nope. Okay. So if we take a look at this Soju person, right? This is a Korean faction or union on my server. He has his outpost here. It looks like he's already moved. Uh, before I started filming this, uh, I did mark this the night before, but he has an advanced platform, another advanced platform. So anyways, the majority of their stuff is all located in one spot. So what I'm trying to explain here is I see a lot of new players and especially in my union, for example, we'll come over here. Now we've been attacked a few times, right? Um, and what I was seeing was that one person in particular was building everything in the same area everything everything's in the same area right you you can't you can't do that now this is all he has he's limiting himself he has nowhere else to go he has no backup spots do not cluster all of your buildings in one spot this is not the correct way to do it in pvp now i get it you know if you're new to a PvP style game for grand strategy, it's it's real easy to become complacent and just plop down something in the easy spot that you think it is. But you gotta think about the long-term goals of the game. People are coming to attack you. If you have nowhere to fall back to or you're not collecting resources, right, while you're being attacked, it's easy to starve you out. It's easy to make you rage quit the game. So I this is what I do, preferably, okay? So here I have an advanced platform, my base, um, and I'm collecting some here. That's because I'm currently deconstructing some platforms here, which they probably should have been. Yep. So I had a platform here. I had another one here, but I have this advanced platform mining literally two regions away. So I'm, my offensive is here, right? My offensive is in this area right here. Okay. I'm going up against the Japanese union. They can hurt me here, all right? I have another fallback spot if I need to. I can fall back here in relative safety, and I can fall back here in relative safety, okay? I can mine these until I can build a platform, and boom, done. So this really allows me to be flexible. If I if they kill me off, fine, okay? If, if they attack my base while I'm offline, and it basically forces me to do what's called an evacuation it takes all of your mind all their miners with you so you'll have to actually send them back over to your advanced platform and yeah that sucks i get that part but always making sure that you build another outpost for example i re-established my base here this was an outpost over here i'm rebuilding the outpost if this happens again i just come here i put my miners back down okay if no one has these spots taken i plop down some more platforms and I just start collecting. It's easy as that. I don't have to worry about it. I'm already set up. The It's not as frustrating, right? I, I could get my, uh, my fleets up and running and ready. So do not consolidate everything in one spot. Make sure that you, for all intents and purposes, spread them out. Don't have all your eggs in one basket because when they get crushed, it's going to really hurt. You're going to get starved out and you're going to lose. So again, Spread yourself out, especially in this PvP game. Make sure that you have fallback points. Make sure that you're planning ahead before you do any offensive. You're always there's always gonna be situations where you're caught off guard. That's fine. Fall back. Okay. You wanna avoid this. 
Okay? Literally, Silverwind is getting blockaded. He can't go anywhere. If I send him reinforcements, they're getting killed off. So just a FYI, this is what you want to avoid at all cost. Avoid this. Okay? Don't let this happen to you. All right, Gaming Warriors, I hope this information helped. And <laughs> use it wisely, okay? Because uh, Infinite or Lagrange Regl can be very frustrating at times, especially when you have people doing this to you. Hey, but it's a tactic. It's a PvP game. So that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for more excellent Infinite Lagrange videos just like this.